find yourself some parking and then walk to the city center. Apart from the boat and some food, there's not much else. You can spend money here. It's a really pleasant 10 minutes walk. Welcome to Geethoorn, the most beautiful village in the Netherlands, or is it? We'll find out in this video. So, let me take you through, I'll give you all the practical tips about getting here, what to do around, and how to see this beautiful village. Let's start! Let's talk about the name Geethoorn. So it comes from goat horns. When they discovered the village, this area basically was marshes and they had some goats who drowned here due to a flood and they found a lot of their horns. And that's why the name Khayet Horn or goat horns. I know it's not the most appealing thing when you think of like a beautiful quaint little village in the Netherlands, but sadly that's how the name came about. In terms of getting here, it's not so straightforward, which I think is good and part of the charm. So there's no public transport that comes here directly from Amsterdam or Rotterdam or Hague. So I'm coming from Rotterdam and I came here uh, with a friend on a car. It took about 2 hours and 15 minutes, 30 with a break. And um, parking is a little difficult to find around, but you have to be, you have to look around for it. But definitely recommend to come here in the car. Don't rely on public transport, it's not the easiest thing. So, let's continue our tour of Khetorn. This is just the beginning of the village and the thatch roof houses have already started. These are the signature of Khaythorn. This 10 minutes beautiful walk is going to lead us to our first stop. But before we start, I would definitely recommend not getting on any bridges that are marked as private property because that's considered trespassing. And you should be respectful to the locals. As soon as we entered the village, we saw the sign for a group boat tour and we signed up for it without thinking much. It turned out to be a little bit of a mistake, but it was still quite interesting, especially when it comes to information. The tour started and we headed to the main canal, which is pretty all right. There's nothing interesting there. The main thing to see is the village. And after that little bit of trek, we headed towards the smaller canals. Our guide explained how the first people arrived and the tough conditions and how they settled down here. It was a fairly busy day and there were a lot of people around which meant the canals were a little jammed. But soon enough you just in this beautiful maze of canals and these gorgeous thatch roof houses all around with little chicken running around, dogs and cats and it's just the most beautiful village and you forget all about the hundreds of people around you. So as soon as you get to Khaythorn, find yourself some parking and then walk to the city center. I would recommend skipping the big boat tour because it's just kind of like the hop on hop off kind of 
big red bus tour of Heathorn, and there will be a lot of screaming kids around. I mean, unless, you know, you can deal with that. I would recommend skipping it and get your own boat. It's a much nicer way of exploring this. I would also recommend arriving here after 2.33 p.m. because a lot of the people are leaving at that time and then you can explore it in relatively peace and quiet. On the weekends, it's especially busier, so weekdays are much better, okay? So, let's go explore the town now. I am in the town now. It's a really pleasant 10 minutes walk and I would definitely recommend getting your own boat because it actually turns out it's only a few euros extra. So for two people it was 27 euros on the tour and 30 euros per hour for the boat. So, And if you're not really confident about it, it's only a meter deep the whole canal even if you go out to the lake outside because these are marshes, this is not deep place. So let's continue our tour. While there's a small narrow street close to the main artery of the canals, usually there are only canals if you want to travel around and you can use the boat or the bridges. And there are a lot of bridges here, 180 to be precise. In the winters, these canals freeze and locals use them for ice skating and the tourists are also welcome to do that. Heathorn exploded in its popularity and it has become a tourist hotspot. So to cater to that, there are a few hotels and Airbnbs if you want to stay. I would definitely recommend you go further north because that's a quieter part of town without a lot of tourists. I mean, even just to enjoy, that's the best part. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can keep bringing you some exciting destinations every week. One thing that I find quite interesting is that the locals are really friendly and nice and they wave at you when you wave at them or say hello. Um, because usually when it gets to a certain point, the locals do start hating the tourists a little bit, but it hasn't reached that point yet. So get there before, you know. The attitudes change. Great Hoon is also the perfect spot for a picnic. So if you are into picnics, do bring your stuff with you because there's tons of spots around. Contrary to popular belief, Khithorn is not a museum village, which means the houses are owned by the residents and they do all the maintenance and upkeep. And for record, I checked the house prices. A normal house would cost you upward of one and a half million euros. If you're willing to donate, I will send you my bank account details because I'd love to buy a house here. Khithorn has become really popular recently. And a consequence of that is there's a lot of people who come to visit. So if you want to experience the quaint side of things, the quietness of the village, I would recommend skipping weekends and going during the weekdays. This is the Museum of Khaithorn and you can go learn a little bit about the history. I'm not one for museums, I'm definitely gonna skip this one. But the place has a little bit of a history as a savior. So when the flagrants were kicked out of Umbria in Italy, because they were not Catholic enough, they were accepted here. And they were not really liked by the bishop in the um, in Netherlands as well, so he sent them here. These were the marshes of the time and they were sent here basically to die but they found a way they extracted this thing from under because he was with marshes they would extract this thing which was rotten leaves 
they would dry it and that was sold as fuel for the fire, for cooking, etc., etc. And that's how they built all of this. And this is the history behind this fascinating place. There are bars, restaurants, cafes. You can even stay in Khithorn if you want. But I think it's just beautiful as a day trip if you plan it well and do it well. It also isn't that expensive because apart from the boat and some food, there's not much else you can spend money here. Maybe some souvenirs? This is all from me, from Khithorn. I really hope you enjoyed this beautiful little village with me. And if you do get to come here, I hope these tips will help you as well. We'll see you in another beautiful destination next time. I also visited the beautiful flower garden of Kuchenhof. If you're interested in the video, Click the link above and meet me there. This is Brown Boy Travels. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please do comment, like, subscribe and share. And do let me know if you have any suggestions for your country. I would love to visit. I will see you in the next video. Until then, you have a beautiful day ahead.